So today I'm going to show you how to make your own Wii U to VWii forwarder channel for your Wii U menu. Now I'll be following a guide by Adam Catalyst. Um, here it is. He also has the downloads that he created, the Wii U channels. But here we go. Here is the guide that I will be following using ModMe and Techon Moon VC Injector. And I'll be making a custom forwarder for Wii Station app. Now there are existing uh, PlayStation 1 emulator Wii U channels, but that is for the old Wii SXRX channel. Whereas, go into my apps, you can see the app is Wii Station. So there aren't any uh, updated Wii U forwarder channels for your Wii U menu, so I'm going to create one today. And uh, you can follow along if you want to learn how as well. First thing to do is uh, download ModMe. Uh, I already have it downloaded. I'll have a link in the description on how to get ModMe and Tech on Moon's Wii VC injector. Um, so let's open up ModMe. And it should look like this. So starting off, just type I agree and press enter. And it'll check for updates. And we're good. When you're here, just type A and press enter. And now we're in the advanced downloads. Now we're going to select F for uh, DOL ISO builder. Now I'm doing a DOL file, as you can see in my apps, Wii Station, it's a boot.dol, and that's the file that we're going to need a forwarder for. So here, just type in 1, and then we're going to be doing SD USB forwarder, press 1, and enter. And here's where we choose the path. So this is the, the path to get to the file we're going to open. Oops. I messed up there. It's apps, plural. And on my SD card, you can see uh, this is my root, the root of my SD card, apps, Wii Station, boot.dol. That's where it's going to be going. So just double check you have the proper path and press enter. And then this one is input forwarder path two. We don't need to do that. We already have our first path, and that's all we really need for this. So just press A and enter. And here we're just going to choose a name, call it Wii Station Forwarder, press enter. And we're back at the advanced download. So now we're going to press D and enter. That's going to begin, um, give us an option to download the forwarder we just created. I press Y to begin downloading and enter. And we'll get that lovely sound that it uh, has been downloaded. And then to make it easier, we're just going to click O and enter. It's going to open the file location. And here we go, DOLs. We can see uh, Wii Station Forwarder DOL. And that's all we need to do for ModMe. So you can just close that program, and we'll leave uh, we'll leave our DOL folder uh, up. We're going to hide it, and then open Tech on Moon's v Wii VC Injection. Again, links below if you uh, don't already have these downloaded. And here. We're going to start off by uh, selecting Wii Homebrew Injection in the top middle. So next step, press on Game, and we're going to select our boot.dol. Now if you see our DOL, it is under, for me it's under data, xflat, mod me, copy to SD. So xflat, mod me, copy to SD, DOLs, Wii Station Forward are right there. So let's uh, select that, press Open, and it should be in there. And now we have an option to add icons and banners. So I already have um, images set up. So I'm going to make sure icon, as you can see, it has to be 128 by 128 pixels for the best quality. And you could probably try other stuff, but I would stick to that. So press OK, and then we can open it up. Should be under downloads icon text that I have here. So there we go PlayStation, a banner. 1280 by 720. It's okay. Should it be in the download boot TV text? That should be it. There we go. Now we have the icon and the banner. We're going to go to optional source files. We're going to do gamepad banner. So I have uh, this one right here. So once you have that, we're going to go to gamepad slash meta options. We're going to add the name. For our package, editor Scott here. So where it says name to use for package title, I did this wrong in the video. This is actually the name that will show up when you hover over the app on your Wii U, just like this one. 
And here we're going to create our own title ID. Now the way Atom Catalyst suggests we do it is let's open up Notepad. So we got we st station. Let's take W S N. And now we're going to change each letter to the uh, number value in the alphabet. I have this open to help me. So W is two three S. 1, 9, and N, 1, 4. So now we have six numbers. Now when you're doing that, if the, say it's an A, you're gonna do 0, 1. It has to be six numbers after that step. And then at the end of those six numbers, just type 0, 0. So let's go ahead and copy this number. Go back to Tech on Moon's injection. Delete all the way up to the two. So it's triple zero five triple zero two and paste. Now this will be our fake title ID. Now Adam Catalyst says he uses this method because it should be unique and if not just try with adding a 1 at the end, 2 and so on but we're gonna do 0 0. But there we go that is our fake title ID so we're good for that step and then once that's all done we're gonna go to build title and here I've already done this so I've already gotten these title keys or common key and title key but uh, he just says google it so uh, you can google it unless you want to pause and try to copy these number in letter for letter but just follow those instructions you can find it on the title key site but once everything looks good we can change the uh, output directory it's just gonna change it to my download folder so once everything looks good everything's green we're gonna press build and hopefully it is successful complete so let's go uh, check out our forwarder and I should also mention that you will need WAP installer GX2 to install this channel on your Wii U I'll have a link below if you don't already have that so open my downloads up and we have NA here so let's uh, just drag it onto my desktop here we're gonna rename it I'm gonna keep those numbers because I don't know if those are important or not and I don't want to mess it up <laughs> Wii station Wii U channel. Perfect. So if we open it up, it should look just like this. Right? Just your app, H3, and title certs and whatnot. So we can close that. Back on my SD card that I used to mod my Wii U, let's open up my install folder, and drag it on there, and uh, it should copy. And now we're ready to install it on our Wii U. There'll be a video link below if you want to uh, get the download link for that channel. And if you don't know how to install it, it'll also show you how to install it in that video. But anyways, here is the app that we created, as you can see, for Wii Station. And as I mentioned earlier, I changed the name to Wii Station, where it said name for package title. But it runs through the TV boot screen and loads into the app. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you're able to follow that guide. If you want to see the guide that I use, it will be linked below, the one by Adam Catalyst. If you run into any issues, just let me know down below, or you can join the Discord server, linked below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.